Talk about the property market now and talk about how people finance their property aspirations. Listen to this. It says here, as a result of low interest rates and an upbeat property outlook for 2013, buyers and investors are increasingly looking to take advantage of potential opportunities in the property market. However, investors and developers are at times unable to obtain the required finance. A familiar story in the Cape Town studio with me is the CEO of Paragon, and that is Paragon lending solutions to be precise and it's Gary Palmer. Gary thanks very much for coming in. So Thank what you're saying is broadly speaking is that the traditional ways are you going to the bank and saying hello I'm Lindsay Williams I need a loan and they say no uh, come back in a couple of years time that leaves a niche and leaves leaves a few gaps for companies like Paragon. Absolutely I mean we've seen over the last few years especially since 2008 that the, the landscape has changed completely. Before you could find your bank manager and then obtain a loan relatively easily. Mm. But there's a slight mismatch between you know, the bank's appetite to lend and you know, the consumer you know, willing to, you know, wanting to borrow money to purchase properties. Which is so, so strange, sorry to interrupt, given the rise of unsecured lending in South Africa. And yet this presumably is secured lending because the person that you're lending to has an income every month, otherwise he, wouldn't, he or she wouldn't get the loan. And yes. you're buying a fixed asset. Absolutely right. You would think it's more secure for the banks to be lending against with the first bond against the property. Uh, it's less about the security and more about the returns. Mm. Uh, Basel III has, uh, is obviously in play at the moment and uh, it's caused huge pressure on the banks in terms of their margins. As interest rates are very low at the moment, you know, it's called the endowment effect, the banks aren't earning as much money on those loans as what they used to. So mm. they now focus their energies on unsecured lending because they, they can charge a, a premium. So whilst the risk has increased dramatically, they're charging in instead of on commercial properties prime or prime minus one to now they're falling within the NCA. So they shift their policies given uh, 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 purely because of the amount of money they make. So they're not going to provide some kind of um, um, social program in order to make people um, property owners. They'll just say, no, we don't make enough money out there on that. We'd rather lend to you yeah, to, I to, think to buy a holiday or something. Yeah, I mean, being an ex-banker myself, um, you know, the banks are driven by obviously by profits, but also, you know, in terms of what's, what is best for the consumer. So I'm not saying the banks are only chasing, you know, the mm. returns at all. I think that there was a big gap uh, in the market where the banks perhaps weren't playing to be able to provide funding to, um, to, that, to a specific market um, that they weren't focused on before. And also the property market, although you say it's upbeat for 2013, I have to challenge you there. Everyone else I've spoken to in the property market, <laughs> whether they be uh, people that are offering finance for houses or estate agents, they say we don't see any growth in 2013. And so maybe the banks there are therefore saying, well, if somebody defaults on their mortgage, we, we're not going to be able to sell this at a profit. Well, a few points there. I mean, I think which area of the property market is doing particularly well. I think on commercial property, when you've got very strong tenants, uh, everybody is chasing uh, mm. those transactions from the listed funds to the individual investors. So that, that market is strong and you've seen it, I mean, if you look at the share price of Growth Point and Redefine, um, they're very strong at the moment. Um, residential property, you're 100% right, it's, it's really taken uh, a bad knock over the last few years. But what I'm seeing in the market is those properties under a million rand, they, they're selling a lot better this year than they did last year. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that middle gap, you know, the gap between call it a million and three million in residential, that's still struggling. And that's where you come in? Now we come in on, on all facets from, from commercial property. Our main focus is commercial property. Uh, the, the, the issue is that given all the regulations at the moment which the banks have to comply with, we're finding that their turnaround time is just a lot longer than it used to be. And they are taking a little bit more of a conservative view. Um, so that's where non-bank lenders can now play a part in the market. A non-bank lender, so Paragon Lending Solutions, can you tell us how your business works? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we provide short-term to medium-term funding, um, 12 to 24-month funding, uh, secured by property to clients who are what we call uh, asset rich, but maybe liquidity, they're just struggling at the moment. And what they're looking for is really a, a medium term breathing space. Uh, Not a bridging loan. There's a, d a slight difference between bridging. I mean, traditional bridging finance is, you know, a seller's advance. Once you've sold your property and you're looking to access a bit of equity, I mean, those, that, that market's still strong at the moment. You know, clients are always looking for that type of funding. We play in the space between bridging and term loans from the banks. So where clients have got the assets, 
and they're looking for that breathing space until they're in a position to sell the asset or refinance through a bank. Of course, what's going to happen now is that the mm -hmm. banks are going to be watching this, as, uh, as we know that they do, and they're going to say, wait a second, he's making a very good point. Let's set, set up a division, just like uh, a Paragon, uh, to complement what we're already doing. Well, I think the point is that they used to do uh, pretty much what, we, what we're doing at the moment, but again, their focus has changed now to, if they are going to lend against properties, let's make sure the strong lease is in place and it's, it's, it's um, you know, where they can see the income over a period of call it 10 years um, but they've moved away from traditional asset-based lending and as I say they're focusing a lot on personal loans and unsecured lending at the moment. How big is your book at the moment? How big is the demand? Uh, and the reason I, I ask this is because it's interesting that you focus mainly on, on the commercial side of things and so therefore commercial must be picking up, which is very good for the economy. Oh, completely. I mean, the demand, I mean, you know, we inundated with phone calls. There are also other lenders besides ourselves who we work closely with. Um, but again, in this market, one also has to tread carefully. You know, it's, it's you know, we, we, we decline quite a few transactions, uh, more than we approve. Uh, so it's not such an easy process to, to mm. get finance even from sort of non-bank lenders. But the market, it's a very, very big market um, in terms of clients who, you know, who find a transaction, need the funding, need to move quickly. I mm. mean, our turnaround time is, you know, two weeks and then the client's got a, a, a formal bank guarantee, which well, is Sorry to interrupt again. Why mm. do they need to move so quickly? To me, if you're buying a commercial property, it's not something you just go out and say, oh, look, there's a nice factory there. Let's get it going. And if I don't get it going within a couple of weeks, then the, then the deal's lost. Yes. Um, I mean, our market's divided into two. Those clients who've got existing assets at the moment, they would like to gear up those assets in order to enable them to fund their business or, you know, for any or fund another property. Property. So, so that's a big part of the market where clients have got existing assets. Mm. For those clients who are looking to buy a property, unfortunately a lot of clients believe that they can get the funding from the bank relatively quickly. So they have, uh, you know, the, in terms of their agreement, 14 days or 30 days to issue formal bank guarantees. They go to, maybe they've had a relationship for years with one bank and they go there and unfortunately they get declined. So now they, they're rushing around looking for funding so they don't miss, you know, so they don't go into breach.